Hi everyone. Um, well, I did say I was going to come back and do this. It's like a cushion I'm going to make, I think. Um, and right now, I've just threaded my long needle. Um, and I'm just going to, in fact that's sm slightly smaller that side. Well, I'll cut it into shape when I've got it done. Um, I could do it on the machine, but I can't be bothered getting my machine out, to be honest. Um, I'm going to get it out over the weekend though, and I'm just tacking <coughs> this together. That's all I need to do, and I'm doing it about a centimetre away from the edge. And the reason why I'm sewing this one is because I don't want, although I could glue it, um, I don't want it to come undone. And this is that woolen wadding. It's, it's great wadding, definitely great. And I bought it from eBay. Uh, I think it was called Quilter's Wadding. And uh, I only have to do three sides. So what I might do is speed this up once it's... Um, That you need a sharper needle than this <laughs> but I'm using this because it's easy on my hands that's basically all it's the only reason why I'm using this one Right now I'm just going to give it an overstitch at that end. Now, before I um, stuff that, I'm just going to pin this one down. My glue gun ready. And by that, I'm just popping the glue over the thread. And then bring the thread back on itself. And press that into the glue again. And that will protect that and stop that from... That's it. That won't come undone now. Um, <coughs> yeah. Now, before I stuff it, um, I want to cover this. And um, I'm going to use this new fabric. So this was the curtain material that I bought from the car boot at the weekend so like that and take all them strands off let me just move that in slightly because I'm going to do that and then what I'm going to do is chop this Pull this forward. Right, 
I don't want it on the back, I just want it on the front of the cushion. And that, I'm not sure whether that, yeah, that's more or less where I want it. Like that. Okay. I'm going to be putting a back panel on it, so all I now have to do is to glue that down. So just fold it over really neat. We've still got the opening here, which when I stuffed it, but I've got that on neat. That's really neat that now. So now what I'm going to do is to stuff it how I want it done and then um, do that end. So I'm just going to get the wadding. Oh, because I don't want it too full, not, you know, not doing that. And just pop and shred it a little bit to even it out so we don't want any lumps in it or anything like that and then just pop that inside poke that down into the corners yeah that's quite nice that actually I don't want it too big. That's a nice thing. That's nice. Okay. What I am going to do is to glue this end in. And all you do, press that down. Flat as you can. Like that. Do the same with these. Oops a daisy, don't want that on there. Again, we're just gonna put that corner in just to hold it in place. And then we fold that over like that and there we've got and we can move it about a little padded cushion like that there we go that's quite nice. Not too big. I mean, I could leave it like that, but I will be putting um, a panel on there. And uh, in order to do that, I need to cut another piece of fabric. And the way I'm going to measure that is... Uh, sorry if my voice is really low, but I did nothing wrong. I'm, uh, I'm just quiet. <laughs> is to just measure for the piece I've already got like that um, and this as well I want to keep that level with that I'll just give myself a little bit more leeway the, this end and that end uh, and then what we do is we just glue that in place. I'm just going to make sure that it's not too out of shape. Mm. 
I mean, these are so easy to make. And I think we need half an inch turnover. Like so, like that. So that'll be on there like that and again not quite as much on the other side. I think that will do fine. If I'd have got the sewing machine out it would have been a lot quicker than that but you know that will do. I'm quite fine with that. And then all I have to do is attach that to there now. So I'm just going to do the edge of this first. Sorry, push that in. Just sorry about that. Push that in, that's it. Like that. And then all you do is you can go around all the edges and just fill that in. Like that. There's an edge that needs filling in. fine and that's fine and there you go I've got a nice covered um, cushion and now I can decorate that and I'm gonna get some lace to do that with um, which lace huh. well I do have some of the um, now I'm not sure if this is going to work, so let me see now, let's have a look. I bought some of this duet type material and I know that's floral as well, but I wanted a piece of it just for this to go down one side. Um, and what I'm going to do is now fray that. Just fraying the edges a bit. And it's like a shabby chic pattern duet. That's it. And I just want this, like I say, to. Oh, God, get that off. I want it to hang over the edge there. I just want to pop that on like that. And shabby sheet this end up a bit more. Oh, excuse me. Let me just see which. I want to make sure I get the right way. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I will... Mm, I don't know whether to do it. No, I like that. I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to make sure... that that meets that end. Pull that flat and press that on. Like so. That's really pretty. And I'm just going to do a double layer of that. Sorry, I'm not sure if you can see what I am doing. Let me just try and move some rubbish. <laughs> I'm just doing another, about a centimetre above that one. Doing a double layer of that and then press that on and pull it because you want it to make sure it lays flat yeah that's really nice and then we'll cut this so I've got the mix panel which now I'm going to keep like that, I like that. Now what I do have, um, I managed to get these today and I bought them in one of the second hand shops. And I'll show you what I managed to get and they're absolutely brilliant. So I managed to get so many of those metal buttons, so many of those large buttons, but then I found those and I absolutely loved them. So I'm going to put three on of those. Um, and I'm going to put them here, so I do need to take the backs off when I can find my cutters, my pliers. What did I do with my pliers? Oh, don't know. I had them, here they are. That straight string, ugh. I know you can use the thing to get it off, but... So that's that. That's that, and that's that one. So I'm just going to place one right there. Sorry, I do hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I was going to stop the film, but there's no point. One right there. And one right there. I just absolutely love them. I know it's like a mixed media cushion. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the picture that I'm going to put on. Uh, and I've got part of a doily as well. Now I'm not sure which doily I'm going to use, but we shall see. Now, I have the square one. I wouldn't put on the square anyway. No, I don't like that one. I mean, I like it, but I don't want that one. That one, but then you're not going to... Oh, I don't know. That's quite nice. Or that one. No. Nope. No, 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 no. Do you remember the one I, I showed on the bag, half a bag that I'm, I'd put it on? So I have that one. And, oh yeah, I like that. And you can actually see the material through it. Or, no, don't like that one. Wrong colour. I might put this one on. Now, do I want, I'm just filming. Yeah. I'm not sure. If I want to do that, I 
Let me just see. That's a bit long, that one. Let me just see if there's another one that I'd like to use. No. No, I like this one. So, I'm going to put this one on when I want it to go. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I do like that. I think it really looks pretty. But I will cut this, I think. No, I'm not. I won't cut it. We just need to pin that down there, and then I also need to pin that down there. And then what I had, to, um, what I've got is this, and it's like um, it's like a binding. You can actually use it to edge your projects with, you know, um, whatever it is you're making. But I, I like it like that, so I'm going to put it on on there. I think I've either got that one or use a different colour. Not sure about either of those. <laughs> but, hold on, I do have others. I have this one. Oh, I like that. That's pretty, isn't it? Okie dokie. We're going to do that. So I'm just going to follow the contour of that band. Like that. And that will seal them two together. I'm going to stop that doily coming out. So... I'm just going to flick that off. Do you know, even though I've got a... Not sure. Not sure about that, but let's have a look now. Remember the material pictures. So I've got that one. That one. That one, oh, that, I like that one, I think. Which I'm not going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is cut it out. And I'm going to, I'm just going to cut it, to be honest. I'm not going to say, uh, I'm just going to do it. Gonna cut that out. Um, we need to pin that down. Sorry, let's pin that down. And I think what I'll do is I'll just put her there. There. I'm gonna put her there. Yep. And I'm just gonna glue that in. Okay, I'll flip that around, glue that on. Um, 
and then I'm just going to do some uh, flowers. Now, I don't know whether I want actual flowers on or whether I'm going to put that flower on that was made me. I actually like that there. No. No, I made this myself, you nana. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I'm not sure whether I, that's what I want. No, it's too big. Too big. I must have a smaller one. Wait a minute. Right, I'm just going to make a flower, to be honest. Um. Because I don't want it too big. 